Play Rock Middle and Rock Reviews, Marmy Rock Show. We're back with Scotty from Save and Able. Scotty, welcome back to the show. Hey, thanks for having me, man. Thank you guys for having me. Hey, we were just talking, man. Like It's been a long time since I saw you in person. Um, the last time we did an interview, you had just joined the band. So reflect back. Man, Like how, how far has this thing come? It's been a circus. You know, we've, uh, we've grown again. After I got out and saw what the band has been through, it's a miracle they didn't go home with us having to go back to that van and travel the whole country again. So we all crawled into a 15-passenger van and worked and worked, and it's only by the good graces of badass Save and Able fans, we still get to do this. <laughs> so let's talk about the album, the Bloodstained Revolution album, man. Cool album, and like, what did you feel that you brought to that album that might have changed or influenced the band in any way? They let me write. It was a miracle. <laughs> <laughs> so... Yeah, I came with the actual the Blood State Revolution song. I, I had it for like three months. I'm like, I got these first two lines. I'm like, I don't get it. <laughs> I'm like, and the drummer's like, you have to write more of it. I'm like, I know, asshole. That's just the first two lines. <laughs> but no, they, they let me in. Uh, the, like the, the final track on the, the record, uh, Side Roads, uh, I wrote completely alone. They let me cut it and put it on their record. They tell just took little, me in as one of their own. Tell me a little bit more about that tune, because that has a real different feel than like everything else on that album that that song does. It's the first time I've ever recorded a song that didn't have a drum set on it, or, or drums. And uh, i got to be honest with you, because when they hired me, I didn't play six days a week or over 300 shows a year. And my son's very important to me. He's my everything. And I was home on break. I really don't want to talk about this, but I will. I was home on break. And he started singing because he doesn't talk. He's, he's autistic. And he started singing his alphabet. And I got him a keyboard. And I, I got, caught him in the back. And he's going, A. And he would tune the note, A, A, B, C, D. And he would change the notes, A, 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 B, C, D. And I'm like, oh, cool. So I'm going to sit down. I'm going to show you some chords. <laughs> so I started showing him chords. And I looked, and he's sitting there just watching. And his, his mother at the time was uh, cooking food. I was just, in the first two lines, I really couldn't think of anywhere. I'd rather be any moment right there that's a great story man talking about that I mean just and now I I, changed a lot since then but it was I truly mean that it was a magical experience and the song came out of life and I have such an even newfound appreciation that song jumped out of me has actually had it on here to ask you about at the end of the album what, what it was it inspired a song I'm so glad you, you, you gave it out so another tune I wanted to ask on that album a song about was uh, 15 Minutes of Fame does that about what is it about is it about the music industry or is it about like pop culture more or no comment <laughs> <laughs> so next question so we'll move on to that <laughs> going through my game of emotion you got me crying you got me mad too <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's, I like that one better. <laughs> oh man! So no, um, it's a, it's a... that's okay. Wait, we'll <laughs> we're very fond of that one though. <laughs> very fond of it. So um, you and I talked like the first week you joined this band. I knew you were a fan of the band before you joined it. So what I want to ask you is like, what was your favorite tune from them prior to joining the band, and has that changed? Do you still have a favorite from back then? Drowning. Drowning was my favorite then, and it's my favorite now. It's my favorite one to perform, believe it or not. So, um, June 10th, you guys are going to be streaming a live show. Is that something you've done a lot of before? or Have you done a lot? Because that, that seems like a new thing, the streaming the live things to your fans. Yeah, no, we haven't, we haven't done a lot of that before. I mean, of course, I look out and there's always somebody videoing, so someone somewhere is usually streaming. But it's nice that we're actually involved in it this time. Because we have, well, you know, we travel a lot. <laughs> and I come from a small town, and I never got to go see shows. So it's nice for us to be able to take it to people that don't get to go. Yeah, man, it's awesome. I did that with a band the other week, and it was so cool that I couldn't be with them in Alabama from where I was in Pennsylvania, but I felt like I was sitting with friends watching, watching you know? it. So it's great for your fans. Yeah, it's great for us, too. Yeah. So you guys do something really cool with your VIP packages that I haven't seen a lot of other folks do. You get to pick a couple songs. Tell us about that. Yeah, we just decided to do that. Just to uh, to, like, bring some fans on the bus and uh, let them pick us up, pick the songs. Just sit down with us with uh, acoustic instruments and you know, like pick pick which song they want to hear. Most people want to hear "Addicted" <laughs> <laughs> or "18 <laughs> Days," but I tell you, I love playing them. So it's just nice to you know for people to be a part of it. 
everyone seems to be enjoying it so far. And we do too because it keeps us on our toes a little bit. Yeah, they wake me up and I'm like, what? <laughs> <laughs> They're here now? <laughs> <laughs> it's a That's unique cool. thing, yeah. Greece, you don't yeah. get that too often in well, Greece. You, know, you can hear us mess up. You know? <laughs> We're only people, and we only get to do this by people's good graces. If they want to hear the music. Allow us to make it. That's at least we can do. <laughs> <laughs> now you guys are nonstop touring band, but so you're on this tour now. You got our boy Shallow Side out there with you. What, I love come, these guys. what comes after this? I don't ask too many questions. <laughs> I, don't, I should probably know more, but the more I know, the more I stick my nose in shit. Does that make sense? Yeah. Does. What were you told, right? So, yeah, I just, I just try to keep it simple. Remember that it's about the music and have fun. And I just made so many friends all over the country just since I've been, been with the band. That's why I realize, I realize now why they were, they're famous. It isn't because they have fans, it's because they literally have friends all over the country. You play that many gigs, you win one, one or two people at a time, eventually they add up for a decade. So, uh, funny story on the, uh, we were just interviewing Eric from Side tonight, and uh, he was telling us about a young lady who came up trembling and hugged him and said how much uh, he was her hero, but she meant you. <laughs> I was obviously her hero because she recognized me. <laughs> Do you guys get that a lot? People confusing you and Eric? Uh, no, no, but they haven't been out with us, but they'll usually pick somebody out because they never know what I look like. <laughs> or they'll, uh, the first time that happened to me was at a Buffalo Wild Wings with wing sauce all over my face and hands. Those little girls came up and they were just screaming at me, like, ah! I'm like, I don't know what to do, I don't know, I don't know. <laughs> I'm at Hooters eating wings. <laughs> Now I feel like a bad example all of a sudden. <laughs> like, don't be like me, please. <laughs> so um, I'm going to go out on a limb and assume you guys are working on a follow-up to the last album. Are you guys writing yes. now? And when, when can we look for some new stuff. music? Well, we're, we're already debating. We're going to tour the rest of this year, of course, because that's how we roll. <laughs> and I think we got another single lined up off this record, the Bloodstain Revolution record. And we have uh, already got a pile of songs, wrote some really good ones that are going to be way better. We're very proud of them already. We, well, we get a lot of time and we've moved up from the van to the bus. <laughs> so we're sitting around like, what do you want to do? <laughs> Let's play some guitar. <laughs> Good idea. <laughs> so but next year we are going to release another another uh, LP. We look forward. Yeah, definitely looking forward I'm to that, man. I'm excited. <laughs> <laughs> so a lot of people when they hear that are going to assume that the singer writes all the lyrics to songs in a band. But that, is that that's necessar necessarily the case, is it? No, well, I mean, I didn't, I didn't want to be a singer until they made me one. I, in my heart, I'm a guitar player. <laughs> remember that. So, so me and uh, me and Jason sit around and have drinks late at night, and I'll play guitar and he's singing. You know, he's like, I'm like, <laughs> and they're like, okay, it's time to learn it here. This is how this goes, and he's like, here's how this goes. I'm like, okay, <laughs> let's switch up for the real world because this is. <laughs> and our bus driver's like, you guys are ridiculous, because he's the one that shows up sober to drive us. And he's like, I hear you guys in there going. Amy, what you want? No, 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 come on, give it. Amy. Like, he's like, it's horrible. <laughs> hey, man, so uh, I want to congratulate you on something. How many weeks uh, or months is it, or weeks or months smoke free for you now? I know you gave up smoking. I've been like two and a half months without a cigarette. That's great. How you it's feeling? It's a miracle. Better. Yeah. I actually do. For the first month, I, I bitched and moaned because I'm like, this is not going to help me at all. Because <laughs> I like cigarettes. I just had to quit to breathe and singing as much as I do. Like, like I said earlier, I sounded like Motorhead singing Addicted. <laughs> no offense to Motorhead, it sounds great with their music. But ours, it's kind of offensive and scary. <laughs> <laughs> man, well, we are looking forward to seeing you again tonight, and we've had a pleasure ever since you, you joined the band, man, and following you. So, oh, man, thanks I'm for a, joining I'm us. A very, very lucky man. <laughs> Seriously, I'm so blessed and honored to be able to work with such an amazing group of guys and to get to meet people like y'all. Well, well, thanks, man. Well, thank you. Scotty, for thanks for being here. Mid Atlantic Rock Reviews, Marmy Rock Show.